keep the comedy rolling all the way from the United States of America, Mr. Bill Burr. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you. Thanks a lot. How's it going? Great. It's nice to be here. I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. Let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know what I mean? Isn't anybody looking at the stats? You know what I mean? Three out of four marriages go right down the shitter, right? If you were going skydiving and they told you three out of four parachutes weren't gonna open, you'd be like, yo, fuck that, I'm not going. Oh, like, I don't like those odds. I have a 75% chance of splatting on the ground. But there's something about getting married. People just have to do it, right? They're just like, is this the line to lose half my shit? Awesome. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love women. I'm just not compatible with them. <laughs> no, they got too much energy for me. You notice I said, they always have to be doing something. You know, like they can't like take a day off, you know? You can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. They just like see that open day. They're like, oh my God, let's fucking fill it up with shit. <laughs> They just come at you with like one horrible idea after another. They have the worst ideas. They do, you ever get to this one, they'll be like, you wanna go to brunch? You wanna go to brunch on Sunday? And inside you're like, fucking no! But you can't say that, you gotta keep her happy, right? So what do you do, you agree? Yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $52 for eggs? Now you're thinking that we can sit around and listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs, you know, like, is that pesto? Is that pesto in your omelet? Oh, it's asparagus. It's asparagus. I thought it was pesto. I was dating this girl recently. She was like really into like women's issues, you know? Cause women always go on TV, you know, they say all they want is be treated exactly like guys. But if you listen to them, they don't. All they want is the good shit of being a guy. They're cherry picking. They look at a guy's life like it's like a buffet, right? Like you just can start picking out stuff like same amount an hour, we'll take some of that. Pay for the movie, fuck that. You can keep that one, I don't like that one. This is nice, that's yucky, that's icky. I mean, come on, people, you can't choose. This girl gives me shit. She goes, well, why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job? I go, well, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some fucked up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. <laughs> That's why I get the dollar more an hour. Come on, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. You hear a bump in the night, I gotta go check it out. Like, yes, he does have a knife. <laughs> Anytime there's a hostage situation, who do they negotiate for? Well, at least let the women and children go. Well, what about me? You think I want to stay in the vault? Those 20 other sweaty guys sharing a bag of peanuts, you know? Praying to God I'm not the hostage who gets dragged out by the psycho with a gun to my head as he's asking the cops for a helicopter, which I know he's not gonna get, right? I know he's not getting the helicopter. So now I gotta make idle conversation with the 38 to my head going, dude, go for a rent a car. I think you should go for the rent a car. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Where are all those feminists then? You can't find them. <laughs> they had no feminists in a house fire. You can take the most hardcore feminists, you know, some chick right in your face, you chauvinistic son of a bitch, you know? A little short, little haircut, you know? Second those flames break out, she'll twist those little hairs into pigtails. Ooh, I'm just a girl. I want to go play jump rope. No, no that's why I hated that movie, the, uh, the Titanic. Every girl I meet thinks that movie's romantic. It's irritating. I was like, that was really romantic, don't you think? It's like, no! It's a fucking horror film. And they're always like, why? I'm like, because all the guys die. <laughs> See, you're watching it, trying to relate, going, who would I be? You'd be that chick floating away in the big piece of luggage, right? <laughs> I'm watching it, going, who would I be? I'd be that dude when, like, the boat breaks in half, that dude who, like, falls straight down and bangs off the shit and goes in the water. <laughs> That's who I'd be. 
I'd be wearing a tuxedo, not because I wanted to, but you wanted to dress up that night, right? <laughs> and I'd be falling. I'd be falling the whole way down going, I should have fucked that chicken first class. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm out of time. You guys have a lot of fun. Thank you very much.